Hello, I'm Drew Verganet with Firefly Integrations. I'm standing in front of the Redwood 4200 FL. Really excited to show you what Firefly has in store for you in this unit. Let's go inside and take a look. We're inside now in the center of the coach, uh, right in front of the main user interface, a seven inch Firefly touchscreen. Let's jump right in to see what the screen's got to offer. All right, here we are on the home screen. Top left corner, you've got some light master controls, your interior and exterior master. I'll just hit that real quick just to give you a good reference of what that does. And then you've got your inverter control, and that is for powering your refrigerator off your batteries, your wine guard antenna. That's especially important for enabling remote access with the Firefly Eclipse app module. And then you've got water pump and tank heater controls. Above the water pump and tank heater, you've got your tank statuses. All four tanks display their status at the same time so you don't have to cycle through pages to understand what your various tank levels are. In the bottom right-hand quadrant, you've got battery voltage status and it's important to recognize that the battery voltage is displayed numerically rather than just in a empty full state. Also if you have a solar controller equipped on your unit you can get into the details of your solar controller statuses, settings, diagnostics, and so on. Bottom left hand corner offers you insight into your ambient temperatures in each of your rear, mid, and front zones. It also gives you a status of what your ACs, what the status of the the air conditioner itself is in your mid and front zones. Right now the fan is on high, H, and then uh, the compressor is also on, that snowflake symbol. Moving on to our lighting page. Lighting control is really important with the Firefly system. On this unit, we're controlling 11 lights, three exterior, eight interior. And you'll notice these light buttons have great feedback status, that bright blue circular indication around the bulb icon. and the light buttons that have the up and down arrows next to them are the ones that are dimmable. So seven interior lights are dimmable. In one exterior light, your awning on the exterior is dimmable. Something that's really nice about the Light Master is our memory uh, in the Light Master. So we've got five lights on right now. When we hit the Light Master off, the system is going to save the memory of those five lights that are on. And as soon as you hit Light Master on, those five lights are going to come back on. You can press and hold your light master to turn all of the lights for that respective zone on. Same thing goes for the exterior master. Press and hold, and they'll all come on. Next, the HVAC climate control. This controls your three roof air conditioners and your furnace in your mid zone there. Something I really like about our AC controls is that each of your zones are independently controlled. So if you only want your cool air coming through or the fans on in your rear, you can do that. If you just want the bedroom to be cool and you want the front to be a little warmer, that's totally possible. But the color indication on each zone is something I really love about our system. The blue for cool, and then your orange for your heat pump, and your red for furnace. Okay, jumping right to the slides, awnings, and a landing gear control page. We're controlling two awnings and six slide outs and the landing gear on this system. So a variety of motor loads. Um, and what's really nice about this page is that the color coordination between the button that's controlling the respective load um, as depicted on the floor plan here. So the off door side front slide, I'm gonna retract that. Um, and as you see that, the slide out that's moving behind me here is um, the one depicted on the screen there. The same color as that off door side button. Moving on to the settings page. Some really important information is on this page, notably at the bottom border here, your GUI version and your logic controller version. If you ever had any questions about your Firefly system, it would be important to reference this number so we can have a good understanding of what your system specific software specs are. On this page, you have access to network diagnostics. Network diagnostics is a great tool for understanding what's going on with your coach if something's not operating properly. Moving on to the G12 outputs tab, you've got quick, easy identification of all the different electrical features that are being controlled by the Firefly system. Something that's really nice is there's a circular indication next to uh, each of the line items here, gray for off, green for on, so you can have a good idea of what's being controlled, what's turning on. On the aircons page, this page is mostly used for diagnostics and troubleshooting, and then your Go Power Solar Controller page, and you can go into the details to learn more about the controller specs, battery status, and its power generation from the solar panels. Redwood units don't come from the factory with a generator installed, but if you so choose to upgrade your unit and get a generator installed, we can easily enable an option to add the generator controls. And what's really nice about the generator controls is the auto gen start feature. AGS is what we refer to it as. And simply in this case, if your battery gets down to 12.5 volts for 20 seconds, it will automatically start the generator. 
something that's really nice. You don't have to jump into this page to that references all your settings, but on your home screen, you also have generator start stop and your AGS enable disable button there right next to your battery voltage. Okay, switch panel info. This page gives you another floor plan representation of the 4200FL here and the various locations of your wireless switch panels within the coach. Something that's really nice to reference is the battery level is shown for each switch location. So if you're ever having a situation where the switch isn't operating the light you expect it to, you can quickly come to this page and see if the battery is low on the switch. Throughout the fifth wheel, we have wireless switch plates that control localized features. Here we have an eight position switch plate. And what's really nice about this eight position is that whenever you press a button, the button's backlight, you've got your light master controls on this switch plate, as well as on and extend retract. Dimming your lights works exactly the same on the switch plate as it does with the touchscreen. Pressing and holding a button will dim your lights down all the way to 5% and then it'll start to dim them all the way back up. So you just release when you've got your desired dim level and the memory settings work the exact same from the switch plate as well. Something that's really nice about our wireless switch plates is we can install one in the bed slide here. So when you're getting ready for bed, the ability to turn all your lights off or when you're getting ready to get up, uh, you can turn lights on so you, you have a night light. I'm gonna dim this down because I'm getting ready to go to bed and this is my night light when I get up and go to the restroom at night. Or my wife's sleeping and I wanna read my book, just have the ability to set that light to whatever is comfortable for both of us. Okay, now we're gonna review how to connect to the mobile app. Go to your settings gear icon, bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Then you'll go to your mobile app tab on that page. So here we are on the mobile app information page. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a QR code which you can use to go download the app. Some other relevant information is the Eclipse ID and the Eclipse pin. This will be used to connect to your coach's mobile app module. So opening up the Vega Touch Eclipse app on my phone, I simply would select scan and I would find my Eclipse module, in this case 310590. I'd click that ID and the device would attempt to connect. Essentially, I just need to input the Eclipse pin that I see on the screen. So in this case, it's six sevens. That's the default. It'll ask you to set your own custom pin. I'm gonna set it to one, two, three, four, five, six. And instantly on the screen, you'll see the pin changed to my new unique pin for the, accessing the mobile app. And let's go to the light page here so you can see what I'm operating, but simply put, the mobile app just works just as expected. Extremely responsive. Your personal device, the mobile app and the onboard system is extremely fast. You can control your RV anywhere in the world uh, as long as your coach's router has internet access and is providing that to the Eclipse module. HVAC statuses are a really nice thing to control on the mobile app, especially if you're out visiting town or, or hiking on a trail and you've got pets in your unit. Definitely uh, important, at least from a peace of mind perspective, to know what your ambient temp is, be able to turn your AC on, your compressor on, to cool down that coach to ensure that your pets are comfortable. This is the Firefly overview of the Redwood 4200 FL floor plan. I'm Drew Verganay with Firefly. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.